That's what is up. I am the all ender, and I will all end you. Um. So, guys, in my last video, I um. I was talking about the Lakers and how I signed the new coach. Um. Sorry. Anyway, guys, today I am talking about which teams to keep an eye out of the off season. Can be good, can be bad. And guys, um, the NBA, um, the NBA draft lottery is in two days. This Tuesday, the day I'm making this video, it might not get up uploaded today, but um, it will take. It'll be in two days. So um, draft lottery two days. I can't wait for that. So what else is happening is um, is actually um, yeah, yeah. Um, so one of the teams I'm gonna um talk about today is actually the Lakers. Um, obviously they're my favorite team. Got my NBA T-shirt on. Um, the Los Angeles Lakers, you know, it's gonna be they're gonna be an interesting team um, this off season um. um um, gonna be very interesting, um, and it depends who leads their team. Like there's there's rumors saying like Kawhi could join them, Anthony Davis, Kyrie Irving, Paul George, all these superstars could lead their teams to go play with LeBron in LA. So um, it's gonna be it's very interesting. Um, yep. <clears throat> Very interesting. Um, what else? The Boston Celtics is on my watch list. Because I believe Kyrie Irving could leave the Celtics after what they did this year. I just saw a post on um, Facebook um, by the Boston Celtics. They did not have a good season. They're not happy with it. Well, they came fourth, I'm pretty sure. Yep, they came fourth. Didn't, didn't go first seed and they didn't make the conference finals. Those were their two goals they set for um, this season, reaching none of them. Um, yeah, what else? So, but also, don't get your hopes down yet, Boston Celtic stands. I believe if Kyrie Irving does stay, I believe Anthony Davis could come. Anthony Davis is rumored to um, leave the Pelicans this season and go and um, to go to the Celtics. But um, another person I want to talk about that could leave the Celtics is Al Horford. He's playing good, could leave. Mm. Um, but Toronto Raptors, this could be um, big for them. Kawhi Leonard could leave the Toronto Raptors and um <sighs> so Kawhi it's all about the um playoffs really and how Kawhi fits in personally I don't think Kawhi is going to leave I mean yes he did get traded there um <clears throat> I don't think he'll leave unless they lose. If they maybe lose to um, Philadelphia tomorrow, then maybe. But um, I believe Kawhi is going to stay in Toronto. And what else? Now, another b a big team to watch out for the off season is the Warriors. Um, three of their starting five is um, in free agency. Demarcus Cousins. Clay Thompson and Kevin Durant. I think Kevin Durant is out for the rest of the playoffs, and so is Demarcus Cousins, I believe. Um, so that is interesting for that. Um, I think at least one of them is going to leave, and um, that's actually what I'm going to announce my um, 
maybe my next video tomorrow, yep, yeah, my next video one, to see um, if Kevin Durant, if Durant, Cousins, or Thompson did leave, where could they possibly go? Anyway, alright. What else? What's another team to look out for? Well, right. Another team that's been rumoured is um, a lot of rumours about it. Is this team? Hang on. It got my shorts on it? Nope. On side. It's the uh, New York Knicks. The Knicks. Um, apparently, there's a, a rumour going around that Dredd and Kyrie are going to leave their teams to go to the big city of New York. Apparently, um, I don't know if this is true yet. Apparently, Mello is coming back to his home of New York and going to play with the Knicks. Don't know if that's true yet. Anyway, guys, please comment down below. Who do you think um, we should watch for out in the off season? What player? What team? Anyway, guys, draft lottery coming in two days. Big night of the NBA. Who do you think will get the number one pick? Anyways, my name is the Allender, and I will all end you. Peace out.